And we're closing out this what if. Um, what if Ash was from a different region? The Johto edition. And <laughs> last we left off, Ash had just won his sixth gym badge at the, I believe, Olivine City Gym. So he still has the, um, oh god, think of the name, think of the name. Um, Blackthorn City's the dragon one. Crap, I can't remember the name of the seventh one. The guy with the pile of soil, <laughs> the ice gym. Um, uh, but, frankly, uh, whatever, we know how it works. But anyway, Ash's team currently consists of for Alligator, Typhlosion, um, Noctowl, Shiny Noctowl, Espeon, and a Furret. So, they would continue on with their adventure, and the, an the anime always is a little out of, out of sequence with some things. Sometimes you'll get a Pokemon you wouldn't normally get, like Ash somehow always gets at least one of the starters, even though he doesn't start out in those sounds. Uh, or he'll catch a Pokemon as a order where its actual location is. So, for the sake of this one, I will I would say that Ash does, um, Ash actually ends up with, uh, ends up with Larvitar. Now, it's not the Larvitar that's the baby infant that's, um, lost somehow. It is... I do believe it's I just he ends up with a larvae tower. I would imagine he ends ends up with it between going back from Olivine City to Ecritique City. It's a Team Rocket scheme goes wrong. And he ends up with a larvae tower. So larvae is going to be with the group. It's going to be in his team. Um, Ethan ends up with the, a Dratini. He ended up getting it from Cerulean or from uh, Goldenrod, and uh, they, you know this will be their pseudo legendary rival Pokemon. And they're gonna go among, uh, go on their way. Nothing big is gonna happen for a while because Team Rocket doesn't show up. Uh, they go, they end there. It, nothing happens. No, they find they can't get to the gym or anything like that. They learn about the Gyarados and they go to the Gyarados. Now, Ash tries to take on the Gyarados. Unfortunately, Ash has no Pokemon on his team that would really be suitable against a Gyarados, particularly a Red Gyarados. Uh, other than Noctowl for its flying, and even then, um. It's not uh, Gyarados' is part flying, or its psychic abilities, or Espeon for its psychic abilities, but comparatively, Gyarados would just be far stronger than it. Uh, so, Ash, you know, Ash ends up losing. Uh, I do. Th I think Ethan would actually be the one to catch the uh, red... Actually, it would be Lance. Let's, let's not catch ourselves. It would be Lance. Um, so, Lance would get the red Gyarados. Uh, they end up, uh, you know, taking on Team Rocket, the admins. They end up eventually beating the admins. And now it's oh crap! Was the guy named Pierre? Why do I? I know I've got my computer right here. Why well, don't I just check who that was and where the city was? So let's see here now. Oh, uh, bo 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 Pokey Earth. So it was Johto, 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 Johto. Ho, ho, ho. So yeah, Violet City. I'll know the name when I see it. Uh, Olive City, Mahogany Town. That's a mahogany. And the gym leader there is Price. That was his name. Price was his name. Price was his name. Oh, uh, B I N G O B I N G O. Price was his name. Oh. So anyway, yeah, Price. And Price has a seal, a dugon, and a pile of swine. Pile of swine being his big one. So eventually they are able to get to the gym, and Ash ends up. Ash goes head to head with uh, uh, Price. So. In terms of you know what who Ash should choose, he would definitely know he'd want Typhlosion, but he'd at least keep Typhlosion in the wing. Um, I imagine he'd also go have Feraligatr on call because water is good against ice, which doesn't really make makes much sense, seeing as even though water can melt ice, ice freezes water. So, mm. um, the other one though, I'm not certain which one he could actually choose for his other one. That that's a good that's a solid question. Now, I feel like he'd have enough training at this point with Larvitar to at least try with Larvitar. And maybe it would end up taking on um, his seal all right, but end up getting knocked out by Dugon. Ash would then probably come in with, probably with Feraligatr. And, you know, not and take down Dugon with Feraligatr. That would probably put up a solid fight. Then Piloswain comes in. Feraligatr does have a full-on type advantage, like a times four type advantage against uh Piloswine, but the Piloswine with things like Earthquake and stuff like that, because I think it did no Earthquake, um, that would that would give um, that would give him some problems. It definitely would. 
uh, to the point where Frogger might be taken down, and as while switching out, he would heal it with a hyper potion. So it's for alligator, uh, Typhlosion versus Pyloswine, and and that point, I I would I would say that Pyloswine is the is the uh, loser. Uh, for uh, Typhlosion, I think does end up winning, but it's not it's barely barely wins. Afterwards, they go to Goldenrod, deal with the whole issue there. I think it, during that fight, uh, Larvitar does evolve into Pupitar. And then they go back, uh, and they eventually beat Team Rocket. So they go through the, oh, what was it, Mount Snow, Mount Silver, the Ice one. The Ice can't, Wayward Pass? Was that what it was, Wayward Pass? Uh, the the Ice uh, ice came. Uh, I reached Blackthorn City, um, not Cynthia. <sighs> it's going to be one of those things that I, I immediately remember the name, but... Uh, I don't remember at the moment where, or what was your damn name? Uh, gym leader, dragon gym leader, Blackthorn, Blackthorn City is the city for me and you, yeah, Blackthorn City, uh, Blackthorn City, Claire, and, and get, that was the thing, I, I immediately got there and I'm like, Claire, that's her name, so Claire, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Claire has a Dratini, her Kingdra, and a, she has two Dratinis, Dragonairs, actually. But for the sake of this one, we'll go with the anime style one and say that she has a Dragonair, Gyarados, and uh, Kingdra. Now, in the anime, the, her Dragonair was, pro was considered the most powerful Pokemon she had. But in the games, it's easily her Kingdra that's the most powerful Pokemon. So I'm not exactly sure um, how, we, how we would depict it here exactly. I personally... Would go with it being her Kingdra's the strongest Pokemon she has. But, um, mm. so Ash, you know, she's he'll Ash will take on a couple of the, um, you know, the trainers in there. Does he go gets wins and then we his first meeting first. I'm not necessarily saying he loses this, but if it, regardless, think of it, consider it the first. Um, first counter. She sends out, I believe she would send out Dragonair first. It, it, like, it, Dragonair would be a strong compet, uh, opponent, no doubt, but it'd be the real, the test Pokemon. Hmm, excuse me. So, Ash, uh, you know, Ash weighs his options. And he, again, he knows that Feraligare is probably his best bet in this case because Feraligare does know some ice techniques. However, he also knows that he can't. Uh, just lead out the gate. Frogger is also at this point his strongest Pokemon. So he also wouldn't use Ferret. Ferret just wouldn't be able to take on any Dragon Pokemon. Ferret's just not a strong Pokemon, but it's been with Ash for so long that he can keep it. Uh, and it'd still be a powerful Pokemon, just comparatively, just not so much. Uh, Ash would also probably have to realize that, well, realize, this is a Season 1 Ash Kanto, ori original two seasons Ash mentality in. Johto. Granted, he's got probably more sensible friends than um, someone like Misty or Bro Brock. Sensible. Misty also can give advice, but Misty is also very hot-headed and yelled at Ash a lot of the time. So, yeah, basically, who who I think is the first Pokemon he throws out there? I think he might throw out Pupitar. Honestly, Pupitar. He, he'd have a lot of faith. Pupitar is also a pseudo legendary. Uh, Pupitar will, and he knows it could become, it will become Tyranitar at one point, which is a powerhouse Pokemon. And, you know, it, their fight will commence. Now, Pupitar will probably put up a solid fight against Dragonair. They're both second stage pseudo evolutions. In fact, you know what? I'm actually gonna do a quick comparison on, the, on these guys. On uh, who is, who, who theoretically is the natural stronger of the two. Now, in terms of type advantage, Dragon actually doesn't have any type advantage over anything except Dragon. Doesn't have, that's the thing. Dragon's just overall powerful, but in terms of super effectiveness, it's nothing. It's not stronger than um, anything. It it just deals damage to Dragon. Uh, Rock is also not weak to w Rock is weak to a lot of stuff, but it's um, yeah. It, it, it think words, Brent. Um. It's it's also a dragon's not a weakness of it. The Grant a Dragoner does can learn and does know water based moves. So yeah, um, 
let me see here. Dragonair. Okay, so Dragonair is base, base in terms of base power anyway, is, let's see here now, max base stat, it's 61 HP, 84, 65, all right, 70, 70, 70. Okay, so that's Dragonair. Uh, let's see now. Who, which one has the, which one has the advantage between the two here? So Pupitar. So, I mean, Pupitar's gonna have the worst speed. That's a given. Yeah, speed's worse. Defense is actually uh, the special defense same. Special attack is actually worse. Uh, defense actually, I think is uh, it's either the defense or let's see, 84. 70 it's hp and its defense are actually and actually its attack is slightly higher just like just barely high. no actually no it's the same i take it back however its defense and hp are actually better than uh dragonairs it's uh special defense its speed and special the uh, and special attack are lower at speed particularly but its special defense is the same. Its defense is actually higher. Yeah, so it's the more defensive of the two, um, but their attacks are the same. Now, in terms of what attacks Cupidar could know that might hurt Dragonair, that's hard to say. It can learn. It knows mostly normal techniques because of because uh, it evolves at level 30. And then, you know, it can throw, like, Dark Pulse and Payback and Crunch, so it can, and it learns Earthquake at uh, level 40, a level before it evolves, but it's not going to be quite that powerful yet. Still, it, it knows a decent amount of uh, abilities and attacks, so, you know, Dragonair, it would be it would be a pretty solid fight, but I do think Pupitar would lose the fight. Then Ash would have to make the decision is that, you know, and Dragonair, unfortunately, can learn Recover as well. So Dragonair would use Recover as Ash throws out his next Pokemon. I think he'd go Typhlosion this route, and then, you know, Typhlosion would take out Dragonair. Then uh, Claire throws out Gyarados. It's going to be a really tough fight. He would be able to at least do some damage to Gyarados, but Gyarados would win. Then he throws out for Alligator, quickly ends the match with a couple Ice Attacks, and then it's for Alligator versus Kingdra. Now, against each other... For alligators at a disadvantage here, because the Kingdra's water type, uh, effect, uh, water type damage, or water typing, does, uh, mitig uh, does counteract a bit of the ice type uh, from the for all, any ice attack for alligator throws at it. But likewise, no water attacks really gonna do much damage to Garrett, uh, to for alligator. No ice attack is really gonna do much damage unless you know you get an insta freeze. Only the dragon attacks are really going to do much or do a lot against for alligator. So it's going to be a long, drawn out battle. And the question is, does Ash win the first time around? Uh, I'm going to say no. I don't think Ash wins the first time around. I think Ash loses and you know takes the takes the beat pretty hard, but you know he recoups, does some training, Team Rock and come again, try to steal Claire's Pokemon. That doesn't work. Um, you know, Ethan comes and he tries against Claire. He loses. They train for a while. And basically what's going to end up being is that in the second match, Ash, it's like he's got a gut feeling about something. So he sends out, um, so they go again. It's going to be pretty much, he sends out Dra Gyarados this time. Ash sends out uh, Espeon. And Ash, Ash's Espeon is able to use Psychic Attacks, basically, and then eventually take, actually, take out Gyarados, thanks to Psychic Ability. Uh, and a lot, a decent amount of training. And uh, this, she sends out Dragonair. G Dragonair quickly makes work of Espeon. Though Despion probably gets a couple hit, like a side beam or something in there. Um, Ash then sends out uh, for Alligator, who quickly demolishes Dragonair with some ice attacks. Sends out Kingdra. Kingdra is um, it, it be beats for Alligator pretty hard. Well, no, it, it's still a long drawn out fight again. Kingdra still beats for Alligator. And then Ash, with that gut feeling, sends out Pupitar. Now, the question, in the, every, even uh, like Lyra and stuff like that, and everyone's just looking, even Chris, like, come on, you know, you, this thing has a, your Pupitar has a severe disadvantage against um, against Kingdra. And Pupitar is like, it, it, your Pupitar is powerful, but against Kingdra's water attacks, it can't do anything. So as you know, Kingdra's about to. Though Kingdra's tired, you can still very much take care of a pretty much stationary little rock chrysalis. 
But then, you know, Ash is like, no, we're going to do it. And then, you know, power of friendship. And then all of a sudden, Pupitar shell cracks open. And he evolves into Tyranitar. And then their fight re goes down. He uses Earthquake that, Earthquake that he ne uh, newly learned. And then comes in, like, with a Mega Punch or something like that. And basically wins the day. So now Ash has a Tyranitar on his team. Uh, wins the Dragon Badge, or whatever it was called. Uh, the Fang Badge? I, I can't remember. Uh, basically wins. Now it's time to go to the Pokemon League. And they go to the Pokemon League, and I, I'm going to say it probably goes about the same as that initial Pokemon League does. Uh, so, I mean, I can't, I can't remember verbatim the fights he went through in the Pokemon League. That's something I'd have to look up, but I imagine most of them go the same, and I have to imagine... Uh, Including when he went up against Blaziken. And frankly, he'd actually have a worse time against Blaziken with this party. Blaziken would, um... Bla Bla Blaziken would just, you know, pound through most of his Pokemon. A firefighting type, I mean, yeah, Noctowl could definitely, you know, do some fi flying damage to it. But that's hardly anything. The fi it's fire type attack mitigates that. Uh, fighting type can help against Feraligare. Not that he's weak against it, but it helps, you know, with a lot of things. Uh, Typhlosion, again, fighting, and Tarantar's honestly at a type disadvantage against the fighting type nature of, it's actually, a, he's actually got a quad disadvantage because he's a dark fighting type, or dark rock type, so, yeah, Ash would, F should definitely lose at that point, um, but, yeah, and then that's basically it, Ash pretty much makes it to where he made it in the series with the Johto League, uh, anyway, that is the end of the What If Ash was from a different region, the Johto edition. Join us later this week for another What If. For you see, um, I have already stated, I already made a note of this in the last video, but, um, um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something for the next month or so, see if I can make it work on the schedule, and so I'll make it just a regular part of the week, is that with Who Would Win, it's, I only get to two a month or two a week before I go into the week of Who Wins at the end of the month. What ifs? I only do one a week, and I get so many suggestions for both that I want to try to do more. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do, starting this week, do three Who Would Wins a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to do two What Ifs. Wednesday and th um, Wednesday and Sunday, and I'm going to try and um, see about doing maybe a like a week of what ifs on uh, the week prior to the week of who wins. So I I'm not gonna be, I can't be certain on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Idea of who would win, Star Wars, Super Magic, what if, anything you do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good one, folks.